Hello, this is Dave from Mountain Maple. Um, here's a quick shot of my um, pump station down in the woods. It is uh, March 28th, uh, 2020 right now. So um, you can see right here, this is my collection barrel. Um, I have um, two lines coming into it. One is the, uh, the uh, pump, the line for my pump, and the other is uh, the transfer line. Um, these here are, um, one is the uh, drain line from the, um, from the transfer pump, and the other is the uh, line from the, from the bypass valve. Um, so here's my pump station here. Um, it's kind of a lot going on. Um, if you look, I have the, uh, the controller. It's a, uh, it's a dual pump controller. You can notice there's a switch and fuse on either side. Um, I only have one pump going right now. I don't really have enough flow to justify the, the two pumps. Um, so pump pump A A right now is uh, disconnected. Um, it was working earlier. I'm running everything on um, just the pump B. So if you just take a quick look at it, um, this is the uh, star fitting with my uh, my sap lines. Um, this line here has about 42 taps on it. Uh, this is about 30. This is just um, about eight. Um, this one is um, not being used right now. So you can see there's um, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good flow. Um, if we look at the uh, controller, we can see um, the uh, A side is where it's not connected up. The uh, B side, we have uh, 25 inches of vacuum in the uh, upper right, 12.7 volts and, and uh, 54 degrees. Um, so this guy's been working pretty well all year. Um, I also have, uh, if we go to the uh, barrel, uh, if you look, I kind of have some uh, crudely attached uh, sensors here. This is a, um, these are uh, tank level sensors. Um, and this is the uh, interconnect box. And this uh, gray cable here um, goes back to my um, transfer controller. Transfer controller is uh, sitting right here. This is the, uh, the standalone transfer controller. Um, just kind of some relay logic. Um, this uh, Delavan pump is my, my transfer pump. So uh, what happens here is as, uh, as the tank fills up, uh, we get this signal and this, uh, this gray wire it comes into my controller and it'll uh, kick the, the pump on and it'll It'll pump until the um, the tank drains out, and then it'll shut off. Um, this is the uh, the drain valve. This this is the pump outlet side here. This is the inlet from the tank. And when the pump is done pumping, um, then the valve will open, and um, it'll drain the sap out. Um, if you look uh, kind of up the hill here, you can see I have uh, a couple of solar panels keep the uh, unit charged. You can kind of see my uh, black pipe, transfer pipe there. And there's about 550 feet of, uh, of pipe going to the top of the hill. So this is, uh, this is half inch. Um, you see I have, uh, I have two solar panels. Um, this is one of the controllers here. It's kind of cloudy out. I got 12.9 volts. Um, I have two batteries, little boxes here. Um, this is my second charge controller, just um, shoved in a box there. Um, <clears throat> so these, these batteries, um, one of them is for pump A, the other is for pump B. Uh, right now, since pump A is disconnected, um, I'm using it for the, uh, the transfer controller. And this has been working pretty well. Um, I had some cloudy stretches early in the year of uh, like three days when the, the batteries um, couldn't couldn't keep charged. Um, that's partly due to the fact that they're a few years old. So um, this is kind of it in a nutshell. This is uh, these systems are all available through, um, through Mountain Maple. Um, check out our website mountainmaplefarm.com and um, thank you for watching.